huge disparities, and I think that we've reached them in this country, then that uh, concentration of wealth actually becomes an impediment to growth. And there is uh, both uh, you know, evidence, if you look around the world, those incredibly unequal countries have had more trouble maintaining economic growth. Uh, and also there is now some evidence that uh, that great concentration of wealth leads to more financial crises that, of course, then retard the entire economy. I would argue that's what we're just going through right now. You know, I, I want to show you one other thing that uh, actually you wrote about as well. It's about CEO pay. Uh, the largest American companies, their CEOs used to average uh, 40 ti 42 times as much as the average worker in 1980. Now, that's a lot, but again, they're the CEO. In 2001, and that was and now almost 10 years ago, it, that number increased to 531 times more than the average worker. Now, I think that creates two issues. One is, and correct me where I'm wrong here, Nicholas, one is that they have more money to speculate with, at least the more bubbles. And the second problem is the Henry Ford problem. Henry Ford knew that he had to pay his workers more so they could buy his car. Now, the workers can't buy the cars. So it, it even creates a problem for the CEOs in the long run, doesn't it? I mean, it does. And, and more fundamentally, if you look around the world, and I think this issue speaks to me so much because I travel a lot to countries that have great gaps. And when you, it becomes increasingly corrosive to the country's political system, to the social fabric, to the sense of national purpose of a country. You get these donut countries where there's just nobody left in the middle. And uh, it seems to me that at this point where in the U.S., for example, uh, the top 1 percent own more national wealth than the bottom 90 percent that we've reached that point. And I think that uh, backdrop of extraordinary inequality has to shape the present national conversation about priorities, such as right now, is our top priority to give uh, tax breaks to the, you know, to people with incomes over $250,000, or is it to extend unemployment benefits for people who have been laid off in the uh, worst recession in 60 years?